In this video, I am going to cover how targeting works in DV360. Agenda of this video Introduction to targeting in DV360 Partner level, Advertiser level, Campaign, IO and Line item level targeting Introduction to targeting in DV360 Main targeting categories available in the platform are Inventory source Other categories like Audience, Content and Technology targeting we shall look into each one in detail. Inventory Source Targeting Add inventory buyers purchase inventory from the publisher or the sellers. To do that, they connect to the demand side platform and demand side platform connects to the ad exchanges. So DSP not only connect with the single ad exchange, it connects to multiple ad exchanges like AppNexus, Google Ad Manager, OpenX, Pubmatic, PulsePoint, Rubicon, etc. So these ad exchanges connects to sellers on the other end and they get the inventory. So ad exchanges are the inventory source. So ad exchange is a central marketplace where it connects both buyers and sellers. On buyer end, it connects to the DSP here. On the seller end, they connect to their sellers. Whenever a request is required from the buyers or DSPs, whenever a request is available from the DSPs, ad exchange fulfill it with the help of sellers they connected to. In this slide, you can see the inventory source targeting in DV360. So this inventory source is available in all the levels except at advertiser level. The options available in the inventory source are quality, public inventory, deals and inventory packages and groups. So quality mainly speaks about ads.txt and we will discuss about this later and public inventory, deals and groups. Programmatically, DSPs purchase inventory from exchanges through various buying methods. One is open auction, private, preferred deal and programmatic guaranteed. One is open auction, another is private and preferred deal and private and preferred deal both can be called as PMPs and another one is programmatic guaranteed. I have explained in my previous videos in detail about all these transaction types. In inventory source, with the help of ad exchanges and by following various buying methods, advertisers or buyers or inventory buyers with the help of DSPs, they fulfill their requirement. There are other main categories available in DV360. We shall look into various targeting options in platform like language, position, keyword, device, viewability, brand safety, browser targeting and many. Not only DV360, in any DSPs, most of these options are available. So in this platform, we can categorize these, all these options into three types. One is audience. In audience targeting category, we can see there are four options are available. One is audience list, which contains affinity in market and others. Next is geography, day and time and demographics, which involves age, gender, parental status, etc. Another targeting category is content. In content category, there are many targeting options available. In this slide, you can see various targeting options available under content. They are brand safety, apps and URLs, keywords, categories, environment, position, viewability, language, audio and video, and user rewarded content. Under technology targeting, browser, device, connection speed, carrier and ISP comes into picture. So we shall look into each one in detail. Targeting options available at each level of DV360 hierarchy. We already discussed DV360 hierarchy and what are the options available in each level. Partners. Partners holds multiple advertisers. Advertisers holds campaigns and each campaign holds multiple IOs. Each IO holds line items and each line item is associated with multiple creatives. What are the various targeting options available at each level? At partner level, various targeting categories are Inventory source, content and audience. Under inventory source targeting, all the options which I have shown earlier is available. In case of content, only few are available and in audience also only few. Here you can see geography falls under audience targeting whereas environment, position and channels and URLs. These three falls under content targeting. Whereas we don't have technology targeting at partner level. Likewise, at advertiser level, only content targeting is available. At campaign level, inventory source. In content, only few. In audience, only few options. 
and there is no technology targeting at campaign level at ivo and line item level we can find all the options which are required in dv360 are available and at line item level the options differs as per the line item type in the next slides i am going to show you how each targeting options are deferred as per the line item type youtube line item have an extra layer like ad groups in this section in youtube line items you can find content with a few options audience with a few and device whereas at ad group level you can find content and audience